A wrestling finisher is a move that always ends the match. The f*** are you talking about, nuthead? False finishes all the way. This match already had 500 finishers. This is so great because in other matches we only see one finisher. In this match we've seen 500. What a great match, people. 5 stars. So if we ignore this kind of nonsense, some finishers are more protected than the others, some look better than the others, and some look more painful than the others. So this is on what we are going to rank all of these finishers right here. There's a master lock, why? <laughs> anyway, I didn't make the list, but based on finishers that I'm seeing right here, uh, these are some of the best finishers we've seen in the WWE. Wah! Wah! <laughs> Where's it? Where's the Cobra? My man, where's the goddamn Cobra? They didn't do Santino Morella any favors right here. Wah! Where's the worm? I'm not seeing a worm right here. The way he just... Disgusting people, disgusting. Anyway, let's start this video by talking about the Undertaker's Tombstone Piler Driver. This one looks painful, this one looks good, however, it's not really protected. Like, you would think that this is one of the most protected WWE moves of all time. It's not, it's really not. Like, whenever we have an important match, everyone kicks out of the Tombstone Piler Driver at least once or twice. So, it looks amazing, it's one of my favorite WWE finishers of all time, but I'm gonna give it an A. Rainmaker. Looks really good, but also very generic. It always depends on how you sell the moves. Sometimes it looks great, sometimes it looks pretty crappy, but most of the time it looks really, really good. However, it's really basic and, and you know, I don't like it. It doesn't necessarily look like a finisher to me. I'm gonna give it a, you know, B. At the end of the day, it still looks great. I would just, I, I just wouldn't put it right here. You know, B, very good spot. F5, F5 is S because it really fits Brock Lesnar. It's very, very protected and it looks really nice as well. Always depends on the way you sell it, of course. Some people don't know how to sell the move. People like, uh, I feel uh, The Undertaker and The Big Show always land on their back and it looks absolutely horrible. But some people sell the move perfectly and it looks amazing. Brock Lesnar is perfect for that finisher. That's why I'm giving it an S. Looks way better than something like the attitude adjustment. Uh, I like it. Dirty Deeds. I'm not that big of a fan of the finisher. I'm gonna give it a C. Because you see people... Uh, the way he's doing it right now looks way better, like in New Japan Pro Wrestling he first uh, lifts the wrestler and then lands on his head. It looks amazing, it looks painful and you know it fits Dean Ambrose. This one looked like a DDT, I was not a fan, I was really not a fan, it looked pretty generic and I'm gonna give it a C, not bad but pretty poor. AJ Styles Styles Clash. Now this is an unpopular opinion but I really do not like this finisher and here are my reasons. So this is one of the most painful or I should say dangerous WWE moves, wrestling moves of all time. Like it broke Yoshi Tatsu's neck I, I think. It's very dangerous if you don't know how to sell the move you can end up being seriously injured. However it does not look painful. Like, it, it is so dangerous, but if done correctly, it doesn't look painful at all. And I, I'm not a big fan of the move. Sometimes when Dolph Ziggler sells the move, it looks a little bit more effective, but most of the time it looks, it looks weird. I'm not a fan. I'm gonna give it a C. However, if we are talking about the phenomenal forearm, I'm gonna give it an A because it's different it looks great, nobody ever done that before, and uh, when was the last time we seen someone doing a springboard finisher? Looks amazing, I'm a fan. RKO, definitely the greatest WWE or wrestling finisher of all time, based on how popular it is. It's also being protected pretty well, one of the most protected WWE finishers of all time, but everyone knows the RKO. Like, people who only know John Cena, they know the RKO, they don't even know the attitude adjustment, because they've seen memes on Facebook or whatever. My mom knows the RKO, probably. So, this is my favorite WWE finisher of all time, and it probably is the best WWE or wrestling finisher of all time. Spinebuster by Batista. I always thought that Batista's finisher is the Batista Bomb, so... He ever used that as a finisher? 
I don't know. But I, I wouldn't like a Spinebuster as a finisher. It looks amazing, but it's being overused to the point that it's just a normal move. The only time it looked great as a finisher was back when Arn Anderson used it as a finisher. I'm gonna give it a C because it looks amazing, but definitely not as a finisher. So, Sharpshooter by uh, Bret Hart, I believe. Every Canadian has to have some kind of a Sharpshooter. Anyway, it's difficult to rank this because it's a submission move, but I'm gonna give it a B. I'm not a fan of uh, submission finishers, but as a submission finisher, this one is pretty good. I don't know what this is. Looks pretty painful. I'm gonna put it right here. I, I can only imagine that the, this guy is gonna land on his belly or his head. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a C because it can't can, can't be really bad based on what I'm looking at, but whatever. Codebreaker. Codebreaker is a B for me. I don't know. It's not that good of a finisher. It always depends on how you sell the move. It's not being protected at all, in my opinion. And when somebody like Kenny Omega sells the move, it looks absolutely amazing. Looks like the greatest finisher of all time. When somebody else sells the move it looks horrible it looks really really bad like someone like john cena for example it makes the, the, the finisher look silly when somebody like kenny omega or dolph ziggler sells the move both actually sell the move in a different way it looks war devastating so i'm gonna give it a b cm punk's gts i assume we have a picture of cm punk doing a gts but i'm gonna assume they are talking about the finisher um I don't know, also depends on the way you sell it. When people like John Cena used to sell the move, it looked pretty meh, you know, but when people like Dolph Ziggler on that random episode of Monday Night Raw, he sold that GTS perfectly and I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna give it a B as well. Uh, then we have Eddie Guerrero's Frog Splash. Uh, I don't know if it's better than Rob Van Dam's, but it's definitely an A. It's definitely an A. And this is where I would put Rob Van Dam's 5 star frog splash as well. I've always loved this move and I don't understand why everyone is using that right now but not as a finisher. Why? Spear. So I love the spear. I really do. But it always depends on who's doing the move. So let's pretend that we are not seeing Edge right here. We are seeing Goldberg, Roman Reigns. Edge, Christian, uh, Rhino, whatever. Because you see people, some people did that move in a good way and some people were Edge. Edge always used to hug the guy. I'm gonna hug you. I'm gonna hug you with all my power. I'm gonna hug you with all my power. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a B because Goldberg's spear looks devastating, but uh, Edge understandably uh, didn't really do that move any favor. Stone Cold Stunner, A. Not better than the RKO. I know this is gonna get me a lot of heat, but I feel like the RKO is way better than the Stone Cold Stunner. Figure 4, uh, definitely right next to the Sharpshooter, very good submission move. Uh, I just don't like it when people are doing it right now because it, 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 it always feels like a tribute to Ric Flair, you know. Angle Slam, Angle Slam is uh, right here and not that special in my opinion looks like a regular move but when done to the giants uh it looks great pop up power bomb uh i like this one gonna give it an a it's different no nobody ever used that before a lot of people used a power bomb but i don't know if anyone else ever used a pop up power bomb so i like it and i've always been a fan of power bombs so this is a Canadian destroyer, I assume. Uh, this finisher, out of every finisher in the world, if you are not talking about the Centino Morales uh, Cobra, this one's great. It makes no sense whatsoever. A human body does not work like that at all. And in this case, it's pretty obvious. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a fan, people. I'm gonna give it a C. It looks great as a move. I can deal with that. But as a finisher, I'm not a fan. Choke slam. I'm gonna give it a B as... You know what? I'm gonna give it an A. 
I like the choke slam. I really do. If a giant is doing that move, it looks pretty good. And you can do so many cool movements with this. DDT. We need a little bit of context right here. If we are talking about DDT in the 90s and the 80s, definitely right here. If we are talking about DDT, uh, watching it right now, right here. Because this move is, well, everyone is using that move. It's a regular move and it does no damage whatsoever right now. So, I'm gonna put it right here. It looked great by Jake the Snake Roberts, but based on how we are looking at it right now, it has to be right here, right? Shinsuke Nakamura's Kinshasa. It's actually a very good finisher. I'm gonna give it an A. It looks devastating, looks different, and it's that type of finisher that I would use on my created superstar in WWE 2K19 leg drop. You want me to put it right here, right? But, uh, I don't know why, but I actually like it. I actually kind of like it, but it also makes no sense whatsoever. So I'm, I'm gonna put it right here, but it's not that bad. If anyone else would use it, I would hate it. But for Hulk Hogan, for one reason or another, it actually looked good. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because we got used to it. Uh, but, you know, C is not a good finisher. It's meh, okay, pretty normal, I guess. We don't really have very terrible finishers right here. But D is like crap. Master Lock is definitely right here. Hated that move always. Rikishi's butt or whatever. Stink face. Stinky face. Whatever. Uh, definitely right here as well. Angle Lock is uh, uh, right uh, here. Near the sharpshooter. Near the uh, figure four. Where Jaghammer. Jaghammer actually looks pretty nice. Like you have this huge dude. Goldberg. Uh, doing a suplex, but then you are getting surprised because it's not a suplex, whatever. It's a good move, Batista used to do that as well, not as a finisher, but uh, in 2008, Batista used to do that move for no reason whatsoever. Uh, they called it differently, like some kind of suplex, whatever. Uh, I like this one. I really like this one. I'm gonna give it an... Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna give it an... Yeah, A. It's weird because <laughs> I have F5 right here, but I don't know if I feel like it's a better finisher than most of these finishers. Maybe I was a bit too generous. Uh, I probably was a bit too generous, you know what? Yeah, I was a bit too generous. Where's the pedigree? We don't have a pedigree right here? Are you being serious? Are you being serious? Dude, we don't have a pedigree. Who made this list? Anyway, I'm gonna put the tombstone right here. And I'm gonna put Edge's spear right here. Because we also have Roman spear. And like it or not, Roman spear was actually better. I'm gonna give it a B. Then we have Daniel Bryan's yes lock. I'm gonna give it a B. Good finisher. Razor's finisher looked amazing. I'm gonna give it an S. Uh, 619A, just because of how spectacular it is, everyone loves that finisher, uh, my girlfriend uh, saw that finisher for the first time, it was her favorite, you know. Uh, then we have Attitude Adjustment AC, looks uh, horrible most of the time, we got used to it, but it's a bad finisher, let's admit that. Uh, Rock Bottom, people hate that finisher for, for one reason or another, I don't know why, I think it looks decent, I'm gonna give it a B, but if we are talking about the people's elbow uh yeah see see it's a cool moment you know the way he dances before that throws his uh, elbow pad looks good but you know it's it's basically just like the leg drop let's admit that then we have a diving elbow by macho man gonna give it a n -n 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 -s. it still looks great and during that era, somebody with a diving finisher, wow. Uh, switch in music, definitely an S. Two of my favorite finishers of all time are Super Kick and the RKO. That's it. And probably Pedigree, but that would be the third. These three are my favorite finishers of all time. And then we have the Curb Stomp, definitely right here. 
So I feel like that's a pretty fair list. These are my favorites. These are nice. These are meh and these are horrible. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I would put pet pedigree right here as well, just so you know. But based on what we have right here, this is my list. If you can find a good wrestling list on tiermaker.com, uh, tweet me that and I will make a video. Thank you for watching this video, the great one. Peace, love and hugs.